On the the letter um, that you mentioned, I've, I've seen some reporting of that in the press. I haven't had a, the opportunity to check with colleagues yet if it's uh, been received. I can do that for you. But in any case, it's our standard practice not to, to comment on correspondence. We reply um, to letters through the appropriate channels depending on, on who we receive them from and who, who they're addressed to in the Commission. Uh, now on the question of joint gas purchasing, it's, it's quite timely that you ask the question because Yesterday, we published a uh, daily news announcing that we're opening the third round of demand aggregation. Uh, we also um, republished a, a fact sheet showing the, the results of this exercise in the previous two tenders, um, going beyond uh, the expectations, the minimum targets which were set out in the, in the legislation. Now, this, as you know, is an emergency piece of legislation which was adopted last year and which runs through till the end of this year, the end of 2023. Now, there are discussions ongoing about whether a more permanent system uh, for joint gas purchasing would be included in uh, the gas package, gas legislation. That's a discussion which is in the hands of the co-legislators, and of course the Commission is uh, contributing and facilitating those discussions, as it always does, um, and, and sharing its expertise and its experience. Um, finally, you ask um, when we will be publishing a report which is due on a Sunday. Um, indeed, we work hard, but we don't necessarily publish too much on a Sunday in terms of a, a standard report. I will have to check with colleagues um, when we will be expecting to put that out. And again, if it's something which would be published immediately, or if it's a report that we have to send to member states, I will need to double check for you.